Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this uh, Wednesday, 3rd of November, Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Before you go to Larry Pesavento and all the rest of the great programming here at TFNN, we're looking at the Dow down, down 66 at 35,985. Inside bar so far in the Dow, we're watching at this peak. E, is there going to be some kind of a pullback? All the technicals are still very good, except the unbalanced volumes. Very overbought. And at a peak DE, we start to look for in the Chapman Wave methodology some kind of reversal signs. We, we're seeing something there, but unless the Dow can really break sharply into the 35 initially 750 area or lower uh, so far it's just a sideways action look at the s p s p made a new high yesterday all-time high as well uh pulling back just a little bit down three at 46.27 uh 46.35.15 was the all-time high yesterday <clears throat> watching this real closely because at peak d there could be some kind of a pullback this is really interesting the qqq index 100 is trading just down six cents at 388.98, made an all time high in leg C. And the Chapman Wave are always looking for a D, so there could still be high highs to come there. IWM is spectacular. This is the Russell 2000 really leading the pack up a dollar, 1.46%, uh, up 344 at 237.91, all time high. Very impressive action here. And gold has pulled back very sharply. Gold is down $25. It's in this range. It's stuck in the range, just chopping around within that. The dollar's moved up. But we're looking at crude oil. And crude oil, this is the first time we've seen it down $2.70 <clears throat> and, and holding after just maybe testing that. Well, we're looking at the chance that crude oil has made some kind of a short-term top. It's kind of rolling over here. Uh, we're watching this, expecting that there will be lower lows to come at this particular point, at least in the short term. And you've got the TLT, which is the uh, bonds, and the TLT is pulled back, trying to rally. Now it's unchanged at 147. This is going to be a clue to whether yields, after the Fed speak this afternoon, whether yields are going to go higher or lower. That's really important. And the other thing we're looking at is within the context of markets, we want to be looking at uh, where where do we go here? Oh, the volatility index. The VIX index, watch this closely, because if by the end of the day, instead of down being down in the 16s, uh, it's actually going towards 1680, 1750. That says the market could pull back a little bit. But believe me, if it goes back into the 15s, that's going to be buoying the market and we'll see what happens here. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned for Larry and all the great shows coming up. See you same time, same station tomorrow. Have a great day, Basil Chapman signing off.